So I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about numerology and how I can recognize the fact that many numerology approaches differ. And I think that's what's causing it to not be as a as pervasive of a craft, a divination approach, because we tend to all have different perspectives, okay? Which is causing conflict and is making it more difficult for people that want to learn the craft to learn the craft. Unless they're directly um, initiated by source, who do they go to? So I'm noticing that as a true problem. So I want to actually take a minute to compare Nikola Stojanovich the degree theory that he holds relative to astrology. And I want to talk about the number 22 and how even though he has a different approach than I do, how when you give the proper meaning to numbers, they still match up. Now, the meaning that Nikola has given to 22 is kill or be killed. He sees it as the kill or be killed degree in astrology. Now, in my book, I disclaim that the examples I provide are not the only way to discern or decipher or decode the numbers. Once you understand the meaning of each number, there are a variety of ways to decipher them. And if I took the time to decipher every single possible correlation, no, I want to allow people to do that with their own minds. But I wanna talk about how in my book, I give it a specific meaning of the friendship number the soul connection number. And it's because two is a relational number that represents relationships, the mindset, the inner child, as well as health issues. And anytime you have a single digit twice, you are experiencing a co-creative number. Co-creative numbers meaning 33, 11, 22, so on and so forth. It is a double up of that energy. And then you want to determine the sum of the digits to add an additional resonance to be considered. For example, with 22, we have that relational number that I just described, totaling the number of communication, agreements, awareness, and energetic exchanges. So let's get into the meaning I gave it as an example in my book. And then we'll talk about the meaning that Nicola gave it and why it still matches. So when you talk about 22 as it relates to a soul connection, a true friendship connection, right? Because we have four. That is the number of communication, insight, devotion, okay? And then two, the number of the inner child, the number of a relationship. Do you see where I'm going with this? But the dark side of four is an energetic exchange that can result from trauma, including murder, including death, including just any other various form of trauma. When energy is stolen from you, energetic vampirism, right? Narcissistic relationships, any sort of trauma, any sort of harm. Shamanism speaks about this concept. Energy, theft, hooks, hooks, right? In the esoteric world, in the occult world, This is what he was talking about. Do you see where I'm going with this? So when you truly understand the meaning of numbers, you can approach it in a multitude of ways, but you have to understand at the base level what the numbers truly represent and what the numbers truly mean. So you should be able to watch movies. You should be able to watch TV shows. You should be able to... um, look up movie titles and understand the frequency and the resonance of those movies and make sure it makes sense. When people want to argue with me and tell me seven is good luck, ah, ah, look up all the movies with the number seven in it and tell me those are lucky movies. Think about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Was she on a lucky journey? She was almost poisoned and and she, or she was poisoned. And she died at the end of that movie. So I let people think what they want. But I paid very, very, very close attention when I developed my system. And not to be arrogant, but, you know, (laughs) I do have Jupiter in the 12th house. 
and it's Virgo. So I would settle for nothing less than perfection before I give something to the world with my name on it. So with that being said, I really hope you guys take an interest in numerology because, I mean, it's my whole, like, I love numerology. I love it. And I'm so grateful to God that God has just aligned with me and just dragged me through this experience and allowed me to just expand my consciousness every single day and really introduce me to a craft that I adore. And I hope that you guys can learn from it, learn about yourselves, learn about others, and adore it as well. Take care.